Hello everybody, today is Saturday, December 12th, 2020, 8, 11 p.m., 55 Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Celsius. In this video, I'll be walking from Chinatown to Greenwich Village, Washington Square Park, to see the Christmas tree display they have there. This is the intersection of Canal Street and Mott Street. Right now it is past most of the Chinatown business hours. You can see many of the shops are closed. This bubble tea place is still open though. Penguin ice cream. And there's still also some fruit and vegetable vendors open. They will be closing up shop soon. Looks like this vendor over here completely closed up. I think they're starting to put away their stuff now. What I don't like about Chinatown, even though it is a good place to get some inexpensive things like fruits and vegetables, many of the businesses, they close up early. Once it gets to around 8 o'clock, everything starts shutting down. I was here about 5.30 p.m. and there was a lot more pedestrian traffic and it was quite busy in Chinatown. I am making my way towards Broadway where I'll turn up and then go to Washington Square Park. It's probably better for me to cross Canal Street right now. Drivers here are so impatient. Hard to believe in just a short few days it will be the new year.
This is Lafayette Street. Next block is Cortland Alley and then it's Broadway. I wonder how all these souvenir shops are doing. I know they've been hit hard due to the pandemic because of the lack of tourism. But I wonder how much Looks like it's closing up now. The Soho Eatery. Canal Street kind of has a eerie vibe to it right now. It never really was a um, good location to start a business here. Always seems like it was always these like little shops that come and go and none really stay. Unless there's further down by the Manhattan Bridge there. Always this stretch here between like Lafayette Street and the Holland Tunnel is always kind of weird. All right, then I go here to Broadway. Head up to Washington Square Park. And we'll check out what Soho is doing at nighttime. Soho closes up early as well. I don't really do enough nighttime walks around this area. Usually it's only during the daytime. Early in the day I was around Midtown and Times Square was busy, Fifth Avenue was busy, and Bryant Park was also busy compared to last week. I think a lot more people are coming into the city at this time just for the holidays. Coming up is Grand Street. Yes, yeah, Soho without any people here shopping is very creepy. Kind of reminds me of a throwback of the days in March and April during the height of the pandemic when I was down here. There was like barely anyone around. At nighttime, it's kind of like the same effect here. Hopefully Washington Square Park will have some people though. I'm uh, hopeful of that.
It's a group of cyclists going down Broadway. I noticed in terms of um, holiday decorations, Soho doesn't really have too much going for it. I mean, you have some quick little lights like here, but nothing really elaborate. Usually over here, Broom Street, all the way up to House, there's a lot of people shopping during the day. And right now, it's so quiet. Well, there's a wreath. I think that might have been the first wreath I saw in Soho. Well, right now there's a few people here, not as, um, not that busy still. Lululemon open? No, it just looks like it is. They closed at 7 already. It's way over an hour past their closing time. Well, let me cross the street because Washington Square Park is uh, closer to this side of the street. There are still some lights on in Soho. I don't know if too many stores are still open. Uniqlo look like, looks like it might be open though. I wanna know if they're open or not. There's still some employees inside. I don't think I see any customers yet. Yeah, it just might be closing down. Actually, no, I still see a customer in there. Maybe they're just not allowing new people in. That's what happens sometimes. The stores, they uh, shut out the new people wanting to come in and let all the people who are in the store ready exit. Then they close up. Oh wow, that's neat. The Museum of Ice Cream has a few red colored Christmas trees in the window. And even in the back too, there's one. The 
This is the Prince Street subway station. Looks like they're doing some work on the subway entrance just across the street. Don't know when that's going to be repaired or renovated. Looks like all those stores across the street are already closed and that store, the North Place, is closing up now. Here is Houston Street, Washington Square Park is not too far away now, only a few more blocks to the north and to the west. I think what I'll do is I'll make a left on Houston and then head up to Washington Square Park that way. I don't really feel like walking on Broadway the entire way. I just noticed that vehicle twice, one on Canal Street and then on Houston. Maybe it's the same one, the Mitzvah tank, I think. It's probably related to the Jewish uh, holiday of Hanukkah right now, which just started. Is he in New so he's in New York? is Green Street. The next street I'll be making a right onto LaGuardia Place. And I'll head right up into uh, Washington Square Park.
Ooh, I almost stumbled. Actually, I did stumble over a sidewalk. I wasn't really level with the ground. New York, it's very quiet at this time. Saturday night. Hopefully Washington Square Park, there's some more activity. Go now. Looks like there's half an uneaten hamburger there, <laughs> just laying on the sidewalk. Well, that restaurant has quite a bit of people outside dining right now. The one on the corner there. I think that's the uh, GMT Tavern restaurant. This is the last weekend where indoor dining is allowed. On Monday, indoor dining will be restricted. getting more lively as I get closer to the park. Here's a Bear Burger, the Greenwich Village location, and also a Brazilian and Cuban restaurant, Favea Cubana. I don't really see too many people in Favea Cubana. Only one table seated outside and Bear Burger had none. Also, it doesn't help that um, those businesses are in a little bit from the sidewalk. It's harder to make out where they are.
All right, West Third Street. And Washington Square Park is right over there. You can see the arch as well as the lit Christmas tree just under it. Time to cross the street now. Actually, the scooter is gonna make a right now. I could cross. Wow, that Christmas tree is beautiful. I love how many lights it has. And it does look like uh, Washington Square Park is quite lovely right now. It's a lot of people. At least there's some kind of life right now in Washington Square Park. Wasn't expecting much, but it's good to see the people out. gathered in the fountain right now. It's a gorgeous view of the arch with the Christmas tree from this angle, or well, any angle really. like it is closed off you can't really get close to it but there's a good view of the tree here with the Empire State Building in the background anyway folks I hope you enjoyed this short walk from Chinatown all the way to Washington Square Park to see the Christmas tree under the arch if you did be sure to smash the like button subscribe for some more videos like these and I will see you next time Bye-bye, folks. Take care.